Apex Legends has a new update called System Override Collection, and it comes with a lot of things. It actually came with Octane's new heirloom, which I didn't see coming, honestly. Um, I thought he was going to be one of the last ones to get his heirloom. And speaking of heirlooms, later on this video, I'm going to talk more about those and how to get those quicker now. So first off, we have Patch Notes, which is always exciting, of course, to read through. Uh, Deja Loot, new limited time event or mode, whichever you want to call it. Deja loot, everything is random. Well, everything glitches out and is in the same location every time. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem for World's Edge, but for going back to Season 1 King's Canyon, uh, that's going to be a mess, I believe. If they have really good guns or really good loot in one spot and everyone knows where it is, King's Canyon is already holy. Like It's crazy. It's already crazy. So I wouldn't even... I don't want to go back, honestly. I don't. I don't. Want, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't want to go back. But um, anyway, there's new equipment called the Evo Shield. I'm still trying to understand this, honestly. Um, the Evo Shield apparently it gets stronger. Yeah, gets stronger as you take no, as you f kill more people. Not as you take damage, I should say. But so it's it starts out weaker than a common shield, but as you do damage to non-down players. Throughout the match, they get stronger to epic shields. Purple. Hmm. So, we could have said, well, yeah, it, it would have said gold, then it would have been fast use and all that. But, evil shields change color as they progress, but perpetual. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to run into one of these today. Of course, it also carries over to from person to person. So, look forward to some interesting late game scenario. Oh, holy shit. So, if I have an Evo, and I get killed, because I probably will, honestly, come on. <laughs> yeah. But, um, later on, if someone has my shield, and I was at blue, the progression just keeps on going, they just keep doing damage. I thought it was just, you had to kill people, but you just have to do damage. So, if you want to sit there, in the back of the, you know, all the way in the, in the map, just sit there, taking shots and farming, yeah. You're going to farm damage, and now you have one of these. I guess, it, late game, you can have... One of the strongest shells, but you know, that would be pointless to see if you're on a camp. So, this is a modern warfare. Come on. So, let me see. So, wait, okay. So, um, I'm glad this isn't here to stay. The Evo Shield is exclusive only to the Deja Loot, which I didn't understand because they had really minimal um, hype up to it. Like, everyone knew about it, but they didn't throw it all out there, no matter how much people. You know, had a few days before everything wasn't put out. So, two legendary weapon skins. So, new things. Heirloom set unlocks at 24, as usual, but there's different there's different things now. I'm going to show you in a sec. There's been some meta changes. You know, I don't really want to go too detailed about the meta changes because these are things that are always changing, especially with players like uh, Useless Bloodhound, um, Gibby, Crypto, an inventory update that's very interesting to me inventory update you have base inventory slots everything's gone up 10 or well, gone up to 10 or gone up two slots i should say but to balance it of course they had to bring down some things which yeah i guess i can live with it the great stacks grenade stacks are now just one which uh, i'll just i don't know <laughs> i don't know if i want to keep just uh, i can't grab as many grenades as i want now you can't stack and have like 10 sets of um, grenades anymore. I only have one. Which I guess is fair since they're making my inventory larger. Which is really good because coming off 8 and I'm only picking up is a knockdown shell, a body shell helmet, and maybe a pistol when I land every time. Uh, you know, I'm always picking up ammo slot, you know. Ammo. I get a bunch of ammo, no guns, knockdown shield, stuff like that. But, uh, Heavy ammo stacks are reduced from 80 to 60. Um, I don't know. I don't want that, but it's going to happen, of course. Everything has been reduced, of course. Uh, Peacekeeper, I can live with that. Max size going down to 5. Increased reload time, that's not good. Not, not in my opinion. Um, so, but it's even longer for well, just a tad, point, point second, of increased reload time when it's empty. So... I don't think I want to let my gun get empty. Slightly increased scale of blast pattern 
which I think is good. Sentinel, they've made it much better. Uh, I didn't want to pick it up anymore. Like once I've tried it a few times when it first came out, what, a month ago? Maybe a month, I can't remember. But uh, base damage increased to 70. Oh, okay. And reduced time to rechamber has been down 0.10 milliseconds. 0.10 seconds, I'm sorry. Uh, quality of life things. And then heirloom crafting. The bugs that's going to be ever-changing. There's going to still be bugs. No more invisible Bangalores, of course. So, But also, with Apex Packs, you have to get 500 Apex Packs to get enough shards to get an heirloom. And speaking of heirlooms, I want to show you his animation. Because I can't find it anywhere else. I really like it, honestly. Okay, stop. Don't. Please. I really like it. I'm not gonna lie. I really do like his um, animation. And it's about time that he got something new. And in lieu of all of this, he actually got some skins for himself. Which I think is well deserved. System override, everyone. March 3rd to the 17th. And I think this is a Bangalore event. Or was it just, I don't know, I can't tell. Cause I've, seen, I've seen Bangalore everywhere about this. But, Marching has some new things. And to unlock his heirloom, that'll pass for you. Ah, butterfly knife. This is his new heirloom. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I honestly do like it. I like everything about it. I like the animation, I like the running style. I've seen a little bit of, of it, you know, everywhere. Got a little bit of a, uh, Adrenaline juice in here. Yeah, I, I like the skin and everything. I'm not gonna lie. And then exclusive to this, well, to this event only, that's when you, you know, able to get them. We have new skins. System override. System override. Sorry, override. What the fuck? Pathfinder has a sword. <laughs> They're doing new things. I like it. G7 Scout is still a sniper to me. Changed my mind. Uh, best pistol there is, honestly. Skydive. Oh, crypto. What's this one? Is that Mirage? I don't know. It's Bloodhound. So everything's looking good. Uh, now that revel Revenant's out of the talk, thank God. We have all new skins and everything looks different. Like It looks like they have a little bit more of a sleek, smooth uh, look to them. And I like it. There's nothing I don't like about any of these skins, honestly. The skin's only... Hmm, okay. Well, yeah, well, anyway, like I was saying, skins are usually don't really matter to me honestly because they don't really enhance the game at all they're just a cool look they're just made for content for streamers and gamers and stuff that's all it's for but this is devil's right hand i like this not necessarily saying i'm gonna um, get it or anything but i do like the approach to this one saying that these are all very sleek like sleeker and more modernized looking honestly charge rifle looks more compact um, even though that one just got changed with the new update as well. So we got the alternator. Doing some funky things here. I still like the alternator. But, uh, I like to grab that gun. And Mirage. Cyborg. Is that a name of it? Oh, man made man. Man made man. And then the skins. Cryptos. No matter what. Uh, I, I do applaud EA and Apex Legends for. Or Respawn I should say. For getting crypto right almost every time in his skins. I haven't seen a bad one yet. Now, what the hell is this though? Who? What? Wow. Like, I like the I like the I like the approach. I ain't gonna lie. Everyone looking like a robot. I really do like it. I can't. I'm not gonna lie. Bangalore. 
And this is how I assume this is, this um, thing is for. I only assume it's for her. But I've seen her a lot. Just saying. And you got yourself Gibby. Gibby looks... That boy, thick. <laughs> uh, he looks... Like he's something out of doom. Jesus Christ. I like it. I'm, not, I'm really not gonna lie. I don't... I wish they gave backstories to every time this happened. I really do. So I really like this. Ooh. What happened to his torso? Jesus. That is a skinny man now. Still a thick boy. And this is, I believe, the same one that they've been promoting a few days before the actual event started. This is Octane's new skin. Ooh, XLR8. That's straight out of fucking Ben 10. Accelerate. I like it. I know. It's good. I like the whole yellow and blue and green look to it. You got Pathy here. Everything looks good. Uh, I, I see that Revenant didn't get anything. Yeah. I guess he didn't need one. Because he's, you know, brand new. Then you get your packs and things like that. Um... Oh, these look old. I think those are some of the older ones too, if I'm not mistaken, from what I remember. But um, they look older. Like this looks familiar, that looks familiar, but it's different from her things that completely closed anymore. Okay, so heirlooms. We'll talk about heirlooms. Heirloom shards are used to purchase cosmetic melee weapons for your legends. Every Apis pack opened is a chance to win a bonus roll. Oh, heirloom shard pack. Okay, so they come in packs, which I didn't understand before. I haven't really watched any one of them do this yet. This is why I'm making a video of the day after it pretty much dropped. But, um, once all melee weapons are purchased, you will no longer have the chance to get shards. They're going to stop appearing in Apex packs. And uh, I did say earlier it takes about 500 packs to get that, but that's the chances of it. Like, by the time you get to around 500, that's when you're going to have all you need for one uh, heirloom. And I, I do like Octane, like I said, but Pathfinder, I think I mean Pathfinder and Wraith, so these two, gotta be it. It's gonna be it for me. Bloodhound, I would never, I'm sorry, I would never do anything to get this. What else is new besides patch notes? Oh yes, the event itself, Deja Loop. It's in five days. Oh my god, I gotta start playing this. This is probably gonna be my next video coming probably right after this one. Deja Loop World's Edge. Oh, I got kind of scared. And so I said halfway through, I think in three days from this one, or two days now, not sure, they're gonna switch it over to King's Canyon. I will have no, I don't think I'm gonna take any part in that one. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to. Um, the loot already is just really bad. Leave it at one location, it's gonna lead everyone landing right into Skull Town and it just it's gonna be hectic. There's gonna be five squads at the you know, the end of the first round. And that's how it was for a lot of those things. But uh the game is progressing to a place where I think I like it. 